Hey guys, what's going on? Carter here. Got an impromptu video for you. This is going to be a video response to uh, Jay Davis's liner lock versus frame lock strength video that he did. Um, I've actually been meaning to do this video, so it's really cool that he did that because I was going to do this video, but I just kept kicking it off and kicking it off. Other stuff came up, and I thought, no, you know, maybe, maybe I don't really want to get into this subject. But when I saw his, I disagree with him. Uh, which is cool, which is fine. That's what uh, you know. life is about, right? You disagree with people, you agree with other people, you can uh, figure out your own opinion from there. But uh, yeah, so basically what he is saying is more or less that they're on par with each other in terms of strength. Well, okay, first of all, let me say, uh, here I've got a CQC7V and a Hinderer XM18. Uh, so frame lock, liner lock. Uh, first off, I want to say I do agree with him. I am leaning more towards frame lock. And we need to keep this in perspective here, guys. Uh, we're getting into the weeds, you know, this kind of stuff. Generally speaking, average use, same. Doesn't matter. Your average person using the knife, same. But, as us knife heads, I don't know, I just made that up. Gear heads, knife heads, whatever. Uh, we like to get down and dirty into the details. We like to talk about well okay sure they're relatively the same but if they had to go head to head which one would technically be stronger Jay Davis is actually leaning towards a liner lock for being stronger um, I absolutely do not agree with that 100% frame lock all the way for me as far as strength and the two points I'd like to discuss uh, for the <laughs> for the same reason why he says a frame lock is more likely to fail, I'm going to say a frame lock is less likely to fail. So the first point he mentioned is that by squeezing this blade under hard use every day, continuous use, you're going to be pushing in this liner and it's going to accelerate the wear and cause it to eventually fail. Now there in, and I do agree with the fact that it'll cause it to wear prematurely, absolutely. Uh, it will start to push this over more more than it normally would because you're increasing the tension it's going to rub this is titanium it'll wear but where i disagree is the word fail um, he's talking about fail as in the end of the lock's life now let's talk about that what does that mean um, in my mind that means that the lock no longer functions what's the function of the lock prevent the blade to close uh, yeah that, that that's not going to happen Will it develop some blade play? Sure, sure, up and down blade play. Uh, will this liner lock be all the way over? Absolutely. But is that a fail? No, that's not a fail. You could wear this all the way over, you could have lock rock, and you could beat the piss out of this thing, and it's not going to close on you. It still has this resistance, and at the, resistance, and at the end of the day, when you squeeze this, you are adding pressure on this lock bar, keeping it engaged. There's two ways for a lock bar to fail, liner lock or frame lock, and that is to bend or warp or be compromised, which is less likely, or the pressure to cause this to slip out of place and close. And that's what's more likely to happen. And by squeezing this, you are ensuring that that is far less likely to happen. On a frame lock, you have no control over that. Uh, this can pop out no matter how hard you're squeezing. And if you're putting a lot of pressure on here, the most likely event is going to be this will pop out of place and it won't happen. And I think that's where the disagreement is. He's considering that failing when this wears. I don't consider that failing. Lock rock is annoying. It makes a noise. A lot of people don't like it. But it does not affect the functionality of the knife whatsoever. It is still 100% locked up, even if it makes a little rattling noise. Second point he mentioned is the weakest link idea. And I disagree with that. Um, but I see where it's coming from. Basically what he's saying is that even though this is a super thick lock bar right here, sorry I'm talking so quick, my battery's about to die, but uh, even though this is a super thick lock bar, it's only as strong as this cutout. Um, which at first thought, you're like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. And it does, you know, it's true. I mean, obviously, this doesn't mean all that much when it tailors down to this. And so basically he was comparing and saying, well, this is actually thicker than this part, part right here. But what I think he's failing to think about is if you take a stick and you bend it and go to break it, where's it gonna break? Right in the middle 
that's where it wants to break. And if you look here, here's the start, here's the end, here's the stress point right here. Here's the major stress point. This is where it wants to break. And I can guarantee you, if you were to cut this out and place, uh, clamp it down on both ends and bend it, it wouldn't break. Whereas if you did the same here, it would break right in the middle because that that's where that tension is being built up and that's where it's going to want to break is right there in the middle so I still feel that even though you could make the statement that even though this is really thick it's only as strong as this I still feel this is much stronger than this liner um, absolutely so I've got to give it to the frame lock you know even though I think a lot of people have um, excessively gone over to the frame lock side is thinking this is rubbish which I think is absolutely not true by the way rubbish shout out to uh, Shady Mike UK thank you um, I think that's absolutely not true and to pick a knife you know a frame lock over a liner lock just because you think it's stronger I think is dumb um, especially for just average applications but if we are talking kind of knife fantasy talk and getting down into the weeds uh, I would never say that a standard liner lock, and I say standard is in, you know, some, some knives have liners that are as thick as frame locks, but you don't have the ability to keep that engaged like that. So as far as strength goes, and you know, that's, that's only one aspect of the locking system. It's an important one, but it's still just one aspect, but I would have to disagree with you and uh, stick with the frame lock all the way. Um, all right, uh, hopefully you accept my VR. Uh, I didn't, you know, I'm not trying to ruffle any feathers, but I just figure some um, disagreement, some playful disagreement is always, always fun. All right, guys, uh, take it easy.